Lord, if you don't help me, I can't get through this. I can't. Lord, I'm too old for games, foolishness, and I'm tired of rhetoric, meaningless rhetoric that never changes things. I'm tired of hearing about revival. I'm tired of hearing about awakenings. The last day outpourings of the Holy Spirit, I've heard that rhetoric for 50 years. We've held on to our religious rhetoric and our revival talk, but we've become so passive. Our so-called awakenings, our stirrings last but a short time. And when the last, when the re short-lived revivings and awakenings come from the hand of God, they are so short-lived. And in those times, we promise God we'll never return to our passivity. But it's not long, it's just weeks or months and we're back. And this time, we slip further back into passivity than when we started. I speak from experience. And we say, this time, oh God, you've touched me for life. I'll never be the same. And it's like fireworks. A loud bang and a lot of noise and then it dies. I don't want to hear any more talk about how immoral America has become. How godless our society. How corrupt our business. Whatever happened to anguish in the house of God? Whatever happened to anguish in the ministry? It's a word you don't hear in this pampered age. You don't hear it. Anguish means extreme pain and distress. The emotion so stirred that it becomes painful. When is the last time you've been to church where you've seen young people under such conviction because the people of God have been on their face and there's such a concern and there's such an agony that young people are falling on their faces and calling on God because a spirit of conviction is called down from heaven upon them. An obsession with entertainment in God's house, a hatred of correction and a hatred of reproof. Nobody wants to hear it anymore. away with all of our how-to conferences because they accomplish nothing. It's how to cope, how to build a bigger church, how to reach the lost, how to improve your people's skills, and how to impact the world in this computer time. And I look at the whole religious scene today, and all I see are the inventions and ministries of man and flesh. It's mostly powerless. It has no impact on the world. You've lost your fight. You see, when you, when you read the book of Joshua, it's almost a book of failure because they lost their heart. They lost the fight. That's all the devil wants to do is get the fight out of you and kill it. So you won't labor in prayer anymore. You won't weep before God anymore. You can sit and watch television and your family go to hell. Let me ask you, is, is what I just said convicted you at all? Did you just let that go in one ear out the other? All true passion is born out of anguish. All true passion for Christ comes out of a baptism of anguish. You search the scripture and you'll find that when God determined to recover a ruined situation, He would seek out a praying man and He'd take him down into the waters of anguish. He would share His own anguish for what God saw happening to His church and to His people and he would find a praying man and he would take that man and literally baptize him in anguish. You can sit and watch television and your family go to hell.